Say hi to the managing editor of Tech Today. Here's Kevin Tanner. Kevin, can you come? Hey, Carson. Hey, How's Kevin. Going, Carson? I am uh, I was telling my friend, I'm so into this new GPS, Google Earth software. I just, can you explain briefly how it works? I'd love to. It's pretty simple and it's really cool. Basically, Google Earth is a simple, free, downloadable program that um, anyone can... Uh, uh, Kevin, are you all right over there? You okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> More like crackberries, right? Uh, <laughs> basically, by uh, triangulating your GPS yeah. on your cell phone... I'm sorry, I gotta take this one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kevin, if this is a bad time, we can, you can explain this to me later. What? No, is... right, now, right now is perfect. Right now is... <laughs> this is perfect right now. Kevin, this is kind of rude, to be honest with you. This is just a little rude. We're on TV. Kevin? Hello? Yeah. Okay, well. Okay. Are you using Firefox? Well, maybe well, another time. Did you time. download the extension I'll explain that I it gave later. you? If you're, just... if you're using OS 10 Sorry, or higher. He's a busy guy. Sir, thanks for stopping by. Is it just me or are we way overdue for a new Deuce Bigelow movie? Oh, yeah? Give us free tickets. Sir, thanks for stopping by. Is it true that you are, in fact, too cool for school? Yes, that's true. Ma'am, just so you know, 50% off at Victoria's Secret, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, I'll be there. Our first pervert arrives right on time, and our decoy greets the man and invites him in. Come on in. Hey, you here to party? Yeah. Great, make yourself comfortable. I'll be right back. I've just got to finish up some laundry and stuff, okay? Yeah, okay. Make yourself at home. Thank you. Hi there. What? Hi. What are you doing here tonight? Um, I just came over to watch a Laker game. Really? The Lakers? Yeah. Really? Yeah, um, I'm a big Kobe Bryant fan. That's not what you said in your online chat earlier today. I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't know what that is. I think you do. Sir, I'm Carson Daly with Dateline NBC. Oh my god. You want to level with us? Have a seat. Sir, in your online chat, you said you were coming here for an American Idol party? No, that's wrong. I, um, I, I came here to have sex with an underage girl. I swear. But that's not what he said earlier in an online chat with our decoy. I don't know. Explain this stuff, this filth, I this garbage. I must have switched bags with my friend because I had a bag with um, popcorn and, and Lakers. An American Lakers party is the reason you're here tonight. Where is your family? Where do they think you are tonight? They think I'm at Chili's. I told this scum of the earth now knows he's been caught in the act of going to an American okay. Idol party. What he doesn't know is that two men are waiting for him oh, just outside. Let me go home, and while they have zero legal authority home. whatsoever, oh, they will oh, beat the crap out of him. Oh, oh, in fact, let's check in with our eye on this guy, Captain Raj. Raj, how's traffic out there? Hey, Carson. Uh, let's take a look out there. What a pleasure to be up here in the skies, 1.40 in the morning. Oh, guess what, big guy? The roads are wide open. It's 1.40 in the freaking morning. Yeah. Everyone's asleep, genius. From Traffic Chopper 2020, I'm Captain Roger Rudd. Back to you. All right, thank you. Hey, while we're uh, talking about the holidays, uh, let me ask you, seen that hot new gift, uh, Guitar Hero 2, that video game? Have you seen that thing? Yeah. Boy. Red, blue, yellow, red, green, blue. <laughs> let me tell you, what a great gift that would make for, I don't know, someone with the birthday coming up. You know yeah, you know what? My nephew has a birthday coming up. He would love that. That's a great tip. That's great. Yeah, your nephew. I'm sure your nephew's going to love it. Thanks. Wait, what? Oh, I get it. I'm sorry. Jesus, is this about your birthday? Do you want Guitar Hero 2 for your birthday? Is that what this is? Is that what you're trying to tell me? All right, little buddy, I'll get you one too. Guitar Hero. I can pick up a couple of them. No problem. I get it. I get it. Uh, that's awesome, Cars. I appreciate that. Uh, what are you going to get me for Christmas? Come on, it's the same day I'm already getting you Guitar Hero 2. Every year this happens, he's too cheap to get me two presents. Uh, what are you They're talking two about? different things. My birthday and Christmas. One? Why do I even put up? Got to the point where he was playing 24 hours a day. And I'm not exaggerating. He played in his sleep. Carson. What, what, what? 
This is an intervention. An intervention? Why? I don't have a problem with the Wii. The guy was playing in tennis whites. And it's like, you know, five minutes to showtime. You know, he used to be a friend of mine. And now, he's a freak in a Zelda costume. Carson, what? the reason we're having this intervention is you're starting to hurt the people around you with oh, your Wii addiction. That's ridiculous. Look at Risa. Your remote slipped out of your hand last week playing Madden 07. Sir, what you playing on the iPod? Sir, what you playing on the iPod? Sir, how come every time you come around my London Bridge want to go down? I don't know. Folks, thanks for stopping by. Will you answer my question even if I don't have a microphone? Sure. <laughs> Ma'am, I love the leopard print. Did you get that at Delia's? Oh, she's, she's so shy, but she's beautiful. Okay, I'm sorry. We, uh, we might be having uh, hello, hello. some trouble Got hearing enough. us. Dave, it's, it's me, Carson. Can you hear me? This is just, I mean, this is the dumbest idea. This, Steve, were you there when Carson came up with this brilliant idea when we were in the office? I remember, he, yeah, he walked into my office, you know, he's got that annoying voice, and he was all, uh, oh, oh, Dave, why don't we send you to the Golden Globes? It was like, really? Wait, oh, this is obviously no, a very bad idea. I apologize, everybody, we're having technical difficulties. Maybe we should come back to him later, because. I don't think anybody, you can hear. Carson. Hello, anybody, hello? Carson. De LA, is this good? We good here? Whoa. How's this one? Uh... Hey, buddy. Oh, hey. How's it going? What's going on? Uh, not much. Just covering the Golden Globes for uh, Channel Six. Uh, who are you with? Oh, uh, Carson Daly. <laughs> Ouch. Did you lose a bat or something? Tell me. I think we've had enough of this. Okay. Can we go to can we go to commercial now? Because I can hear so, them. So, uh, Carson Daly, gay guy, right? <laughs> You're thinking of uh, you're thinking of Carson Cressley. No, no, I'm not. Oh, well, listen. Here's the deal. I'll tell you just because no one else can hear us right now. Carson Daly, not gay, but not 100% straight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I can see that. More like uh, more like Queerson Daly, am I right? Uh, uh, wait, uh, 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 Queerson Daly. <laughs> hey, you know what else? He supports the Taliban. You know, I heard that. Sure. Creators of CSI, CSI Miami, and CSI New York comes the latest to the crime scene investigating family, CSI, CSI. And freeze it. That's them. Somebody stole Dave Crusoe's sunglasses. But he can't act without them. Bingo. When a crime occurs on the set of a CSI show, they are the first on the scene. All right, what do we got here? Well, it looks like somebody murdered the guy who draws the chalk outlines for the show. Looks like we can chalk this one up to murder. This fall, CSI gets even more ridiculous and confusing. CSI, CSI. You can't trust him, he's an actor! I thought he was a real cop! On CSI BS. Sir, would you rather watch American Idol or take a brick to the face? <laughs> uh, you know, I'd probably rather take a brick to the face. Adam. Yeah. I wonder if that guy's all right. Still made the right choice. Yeah. Still made the right choice. <laughs>